Port forwarding allows users to forward traffic for a device from one port to another. Normally, the built-in firewall blocks incoming traffic from the internet. Port forwarding allows internet users to access any server you are running on your computer, such as a web, FTP, or email server. Keep in mind that a public IP address is needed from your internet service provider for this to work. If you're still not clear on what port forwarding is, then let us put it another way. Imagine you're in front of a brick wall that has a magic door. Use the right key or port, and it opens to the device you need to access. The way this works in the real world is that the firewall translates the WAN IP you enter along with the port number into the correct route to the device on your LAN. In our example, we have one of our IP switches connected to the LAN bar Digi EX12. We're going to log into the DigiWeb admin console to start. Go to the status tab and click on DHCP leases. This is where we can see what devices are connected to our Digi router. I'm confirming the address for our IP switch device. Now that I have the IP switch address, I'm going to access the system tab and the device configuration. Once at this page, expand the firewall section, followed by the port forwarding section. As you can see, I already have my rule configured. To add a new rule, simply click the plus button to the right here. To view my rule, I'll expand the IP switch section here. Start by making sure the enable setting is switched to on. Label the rule with a name to identify it. Select the interface or WAN connection you want to access this device through. We have public static IP on our cellular modem, which is how we are connected to the web admin console at this time. We'll leave the IPv4 setting for the IP version. Protocol is TCP, but this can also be changed. Port is the one that we'll use to access the IP switch remotely. We're using 8080. Next, we fill in the IP address of the IP switch. And lastly, the to port is the port which the IP switch is currently using. When you're done, scroll to the top of the page and click apply and confirm the changes. Since our rule is already applied, I'm going to go up to the address bar and copy my static IP address. Then I'll enter that in a new browser. This time, I want to try accessing the IP switch, so I'll complete the address by entering a colon and then 8080 and hit enter to go to the address. It looks like it's working as it has taken me to the login page for our switch. So if you have a publicly routable IP address from your internet service provider, you can use port forwarding to access devices behind your digi router. Just follow our instructions and fill in the appropriate settings where needed for your device. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Please reach out if you have any questions and remember, hit the subscribe button if you're interested in more videos like this.